Hi viewers, this is Chan Shekhar Reddy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to install the Sonar Cube in a Linux operating system. Here, I am using CentOS 6.6, which is free and open source. Uh, now, uh, first of all, we need to download the Sonar Cube. Sonar Cube and then Sonar Nanar, uh, which is used to run the analysis against the project against your project and then any database like uh, sonar will support like a uh, variety uh, platform uh, variety kind of databases like so mysql mysql server then Arkil or postgresql or embedded sonar database so basically we'll use uh, in real time projects we basically will go with the third party database like uh, uh, mysql or some other kind of Oracle MySQL server. So here I uh, already have a downloaded files which are available in my backup directory. So here I have downloaded the 5.2 Sonar Cube version and runner version is 2.4 and MySQL got already installed in my system. The version is 5.1. So basically first of all what we need to do is to extract the files into somewhere else. Here I am using uh, to extract the zip file, use the unzip command and then give the file directory that uh, compressive directory or file name. So basically, it will extract the files in your current directory itself. Now, uh, I'm uh, I'm moving this directory into the installation path where we can uh, uh, where we can use the installation like uh, user local or some slash opt in Windows. We can use uh, C. C windows or program files uh, that is basically by default directories in, in, in Linux system uh, we can use it anywhere but the best place is either slash user slash local or else slash opt directory so I am just moving this directory into slash opt now again uh, we need to extract the sonar runner so for that I am using ngp and then the directory name now you got the sonar runner as well now i am moving this directory into slash opt again so i am also going to navigate into the add directory so sonar runner we got and sonar cube we have got now we need to configure the system needs to find whether the sonar cube installed or not how it will find by using the environment variables and path settings so for that we need to go with some little bit path uh, environment variable section. So basically in Linux system you can uh, configure the path variables in three ways. First directly you can give the command like export and then set the path for the sonar cube. But this will be applicable, this will be compatible with the this terminal only. If you close uh, this terminal once again you need to configure the path. This is like a temporary configuration. If you want to do these uh, configurations permanently, you can go with the uh, .bash profile file. This is the uh, file which will be available for every, every user home directories. If you configure the path variables in these files, .bash profile file, this will be applicable for the specific user. So this is available in root home directory. So basically if you, if you configured everything in this file that will be applicable for the root user. So other users can't be access this configuration. Basically if you want to do this configuration globally that means all users should be access to, access to Sonar. Then you need to go with the global configuration. So global configuration file will be uh, available in uh, slash etc slash profile file this is the global configuration path environment file here already i have got configured maven tomcat server and jdk now we are going with the sonar cube so export sonar cube home slash opt sonar cube 5.2 then so basically it's not good Now the sonar runner as well, sonar runner home and sonar runner path. So this is this will point to your home directory with the home 
and home variable and this path variable will point to the bin directory which is having this bin directory will have the executable files now i am just saving this configuration and i am updating the profile file so once you have got updated the profile file which will uh, give you the configuration whether you got configured your sonar code and then sonar runner and as well as you can go with path command so here you can find the path that have been already configured with the system now need to create one database basically we are going with mysql database now i am going into the mysql prompt then here i am going to use the show databases command which will give the list of database available in the these all are the da default database available with mysql and if you want to create a database you can use the query create database owner so this is the query which will create the sonar database so at the end of every query you need to pass the semicolon otherwise it will uh, take it as a arguments now create user sonar so sonar we are creating we have created the database now we are creating the user here so now user got created and we are going to issue all the permissions and sonar user and uh, on which host we are giving the sonar uh, on which host we are creating so basically it's a local host in terms of my system here i am using some remote local uh, system that is uh, web.csr tech.in this is my system okay now we are good now plus the privileges now we are good with the mysql configuration database configuration for the sonar now we need to uh, configure the do some configurations in uh, sonar cube and sonar runner as well for that i'm using win slash opt sonar cube sonar cube conf directory then sonar dot properties this is the mail configuration file for the sonar so here if you come to uh, if you observe closely then here is the database section so in this database section you can use the uh, here you need to pass some credentials so we have already created the sonar database and sonar username with the password so username is sonar and then the password is sonar we have granted all the permissions over the sonar database with the same username and password so here it is an embedded database you can use that one as well we, this one is mysql and oracle postgresql mysql server so you can use any any one of it so sonar jdbc url equal to the url of where the database is available post name if you are the uh, java developer uh, you might aware of all these things web.csr tech.in host name along with the port number by default mysql uses double three zero six we have done with the database configuration in the sonar cube server next we need to go with sonar runner configuration slash so opt sonar runner then con sonar runner dot properties sonar properties in sonar cube and in sonar runner properties in sonar runner now here you need to configure the sonar default sonar server url this is the server url and in the instead of local host you can use your own host name web.csr tag.in then the mysql uh, database uh, url here you need to change the host name okay. 
now we are fine with the sonar cube and sonar runner configuration now you need to start the sonar server and whenever it's uh, if whenever you start project analysis automatically sonar runner will be uh, run against your code so slash if it is sonar cube then bin directory so in the bin directory you will have the different kind of architecture i need the directory name here you need to go with u name iphone or uh, a it will give the entire uh, system information like the host name and the linux system architecture so i386 innocence the 30 bit 32 bit operating system so we are going with the directory 32 bit in your case if it is a 64 bit uh, linux system you can go with this directory if it is a windows systems you can go with this so in the directory you will find the sonar.sh this star this script is used to start the server stop shut down your server or restart or stay find the status so basically if you directly execute this it will show some parameters which needs to be passed for starting or stopping something so sonar.sh start so starting sonar started sonar so whether if you have any doubt whether it is uh, running or not you can use the ps-f grab pipe grab then sonar queue so it will give the process id and all uh, on which port it is running and the details like already this got started so my my sql java being used here and uh, still my sql connection not get established so now again i am going with same command here you can find my sql connector got involved that means uh, connection got established with the sonar cube between the mysql and sonar now we can go with the sonar cube url so basically the host name and along with the uh, port number so basically the sonar cube by default port number is 9000 so if you press enter this is the first time so it will take you uh, minutes to showing the dashboard of the sonar cube server let's wait for to commit so this is the con all configuration that i have uh, done over there so i am going to uh, paste it in the description area you can copy it directly if you got any issues you can let me know in the comment section okay now sonar cube got started so this is the dashboard for the sonar so basically uh, if you want to login you need to create the sonar users and as well as you need to configure something you can install some you can create some rules and you can install some other plugins to improve the car quad code coverage uh, reports like class coverage everything you can go with this these are the rules you can uh, able to create over here but for everything you need to have the root privileges so for that first of all you need to go with the uh, user administrator user for that you need to execute some commands in the command line area to create the sonar administrator user so this section will uh, Cover the installation of the sonar cube process and in the next tutorial i will show how to uh, do an administrator with the so administration part of sonar cube as well as i'll go i'm going to continue with my jenkins tutorial part 7 uh, there i'm going to integrate the sonar over the maven project so then we can finally we can go with the one maven project and we'll cover the uh, code coverage reports by using the continuous integration tool Jenkins. Thank you. Bye.